Duty Duty. It's April 10th, 2023 in Big Bear, or not in Big Bear, we're in Apple Valley on Highway 18. These are the San Bernardino Mountains, which we're gonna be driving up shortly. I am taking you guys on the shortest, quickest route into Big Bear. So once we get to the bottom of the mountain, we can probably make it up in 12 minutes, let's see. Love you guys, hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great Easter. Happy belated Easter to all of you. We'll see you soon. Another couple clips of the mountain range as we're driving towards it. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Look at this desert area. It is so unbelievable down here. All right, let's get back to it. I'll see you guys shortly. Another spectacular view of our mountain range, that which we are coming up to right now. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire, you guys. We're on Highway 18 in between Apple Valley and Lucerne Valley. We'll see you shortly. All right, here's another special view. That's towards the end of the mountain range right there. Hope you guys are able to see it through here. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh yeah. Alright, so this is what we got going on the desert roads. I just went golfing at Apple Valley Golf Course and hey guys, check it out. So, this week I'm posting a video. It's of an Airbnb that one of you guys owns. It's really nice. It's on Sheephorn in Moonridge, you guys. This is the nice areas. We are offering you three free nights. Stay. All we have to do is get 2,000 likes on the video within a two week period. And you, uh, in the description, there will be the owner of the property's Instagram. You just gotta follow his Instagram um, and leave a comment on the video. Um, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It's gonna be a lot of work to respond to all, all those comments, but I love you guys. And I'm telling you what, guys, in the, dips, the depths of wintertime, this place, I'm telling you, this is easily over a thousand dollar value. And I'm super excited that he's willing to do this for us. Jay, you're awesome, dude. So you guys have a chance to win three free nights. As I said, uh, the video will be posted later this week. And you'll know which video I'm talking about. All right? It'll, it, because it's going to say something in, in the title about Airbnb or something like that. So um, it'll be before Friday for sure. Love you guys. And we're almost to the mountain. We're almost going up. As I said, this is the fastest way up the mountain. When we get to the bottom of the mountain, I'm going to hit the record button and not stop at that point. And I'm telling you what, I think we can make it up in 13 minutes or less. We shall see. Okay, so we're on Highway 18. We're coming up to the interchange where you need to kind of veer to the right to continue on Highway 18. And then once we get through this part, then I will start the video for the last time once we get up uh, to where you start heading up the mountain. So right here, if you're not paying attention and you keep on going straight, you're gonna pass where Highway 18 curves off. If you go straight, Highway 18 right here turns into Highway 247. So you wanna go right here towards Big Bear Lake. And I'm telling you, look at, look at our mountains right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So pretty. All right, so let's do this. I'll see you guys at the bottom. I think I told the fib, you guys. I wanted to show you guys a little bit more of this part of Highway 18. It's so pretty, this desert, you guys. We, it's such a pretty place. Look at that. As we climb a little bit. But as I said, I will uh, stop the video and then restart it right at the bottom just so we can get a good sense of exactly how long it takes us to get up there. But look at that. Oh, it's so gorgeous out here, you guys. Perfectly blue skies. I'm so excited about this giveaway for you guys, man. And hey, I don't want you guys to feel like you have to leave a long comment. Just, just leave something on that video. 
because that's where the uh, the winner's gonna get chosen from is the comment section through a random number generator. Okay, you guys. So just just make sure that you guys hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That's part of it also. Um, and then uh, yeah, as I said in in the description of the video, there will be the owner of the property's Instagram. You must sign up through there because if the name that we pick on the comment section is not in the Instagram, then it's it's not going to be valid. So you guys have to sign up to his Instagram um, if you want a chance to win. If you don't want to sign up to Instagram, no, I totally understand. It's just that there will be no way to win. And as I said, it's three free nights on, um, at a property in Moonridge. Not only Moonridge, but off of Sheephorn, you guys. And Sheephorn is one of the nicest streets in all, all of Big Bear. So, yeah, this place, you guys are getting hooked up. I love you to death. It makes me so proud to do this. Um, this this gentleman, Jay, is such a, such a good dude. So, yeah. I'm excited for you all. Woohoo! Alright, that's enough desert views for right now. This time, I promise you, I will not turn the camera back on until we're at the bottom. Let's just get one, one more, one more look over here. Yeah, the reflection, the reflection is making it horrible. All right, that's where we're going, right up there. See you guys shortly. Okay, you guys, typically at the Mitsubishi cement plant right here, this is where people tend to start their timing to go up to the mountain. We are at the bottom of the mountain, but I usually start right up here where the San Bernardino National Forest sign is. So that is coming right up. So I'm gonna stop it and then turn it right back on once we get to that sign. Just so we can do my official timing to see how fast we can get up to the top. So there's the San Bernardino National Forest sign. I'm gonna shut, shut it off and then start it right here. And this clip will tell us how long it takes. Ready, here we go. Okay, here we go. As I said, you guys, this is the fastest way up to Big Bear from all the routes. Obviously, it's not faster if you have to drive all the way around the mountain to get here, of course not. But all the ways up to Big Bear or up to the top of the mountain, this is the fastest. Oh, look at this little animal. What is that? What is that? That looks like a really fat chipmunk. You guys see that thing? I know my vehicle is loud, so forgive me about that. Once again, I hope everyone's having a great day. It's a beautiful, beautiful Monday. It is the warmest day in Big Bear that we've had in about six or seven months, you guys. Temperature's supposed to reach 68 degrees right now. It is 81 right here. Where I just was playing golf, it was 93 degrees. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. You're not going to see any snow on this road anywhere. None, not even any of the shady locations, nothing. You guys are going to be good to go. And as I said, this is such a quick route up the mountain. Keep in mind, a big reason why it's so much faster than the other side of the mountain range is because you are starting here in the high desert. So I think at the Mitsubishi plant down there, you're already at about 3,000 plus feet up. And then I'm going to explain to you guys which part of this route is typically the sketchiest. And it looks like we got some traffic coming up, so we're not going to make it in that wonderful fast time that I was hoping. But there is a passing area up here. It is such a beautiful day. The passing area is past these switchbacks. So this is the hardest part of this road in the winter time when it snows down to this point. It's the triple switchback. This is the, the beginning of it. And now 
here's the second one. And these are steep, steep turns, you guys. So cars get stuck and slide backwards on these all the time. It's very dangerous. Some nice views over there as we climb in elevation. And here is the last of the switchbacks. This is the hardest one. I mean, people come to a complete stop for, for some odd reason. Look at that view, oh my goodness. It's like looking through a goalpost. It's good! I had a horrible day golfing today. Guys, I haven't golfed much at all the past many years. Maybe since I've lived in Big Bear six or seven times. And today was not a good day. I still broke 90 and I should because I used to be playing in qualifying tournaments for the Golden State Tour, the Hooters Tour, um, stuff like that, Nationwide Tour. Golf was my thing, but I, I barely broke 90 at a really easy golf course today. I was just three putting so much. It was such a nightmare. And, 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 and I have my super expensive Scotty Cameron putter that just does not help me. <laughs> All my golf equipment is like the, the best of the best because I know how to use it. I know how to work the ball. And even my golf balls, I play with Titleist Pro V, but they all have, um, I had them specially made where it says Big Bear Weather and More on YouTube on the ball. So if I lose the ball, I don't have to feel bad about losing a $4.50 ball. Because maybe someone will find it and check out our channel, right? So right now we've hit the five minute mark coming up the mountain. If we didn't have this traffic, I know we could make it in about 10 to 12 minutes. So we're doing another video this week, which will be posted either tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm staying at Apple's Bed and Breakfast. My wife and I are uh, doing a couple nights stay there. And the reason that I'm doing these stays is for you guys. So I can show you guys what these places look like. Because I want you guys to come up here. I, I want you guys to enjoy yourselves, spend money in our town, and just have a blast. Apple's was not that cheap. For the two nights, it was like 600 bucks. But it's all good. And remember, we just stayed for three weeks at the uh, Marina Riviera. We checked out last week, and we're already going to be staying in another place this week, and then staying at our friend's Airbnb. This is usually the passing area, but that person sped up, and I don't think anyone's going to be passing, so that's fine. so pretty oh my gosh I love I love the desert so this video is gonna end once we not right at the very top but a, a few hundred yards further once we start dropping into Big Bear Valley so you guys can get that beautiful, beautiful view. Especially of Baldwin Lake now. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. Okay, we're at the seven and a half minute point here. Temperature is 76 degrees. Oh, 
got some more incredible views if I can, if you guys can see them here. Look, do you see how fast we're climbing, you guys? I don't know if you can see the desert right, right there, but my gosh, we're climbing quickly. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that valley down there. Oh my goodness gracious. Telling you what, you guys, this is one of my favorite drives in all of this mountain range coming up the backside on Highway 18. Sorry about all the reflection, you guys. Doing the best I can here. Maybe I'll keep pointing it out the side for a little bit, but we're almost up, we're almost up here. Can you guys believe that? From the bottom of the mountain, coming up the backside, it's that much faster. I mean, it takes no time. A couple more little turns and we're good. Took us just, just over 10, just over 10 minutes. That's insane. Yeah, we're at the top. We are at the top. Unbelievable, you guys. And now we're gonna drop in on Big Bear Valley. I'm gonna put the phone out the window. This is obviously gonna be the Baldwin area, and it's gonna be loud because of the wind. So please don't get upset with me about that, you guys. But I'm gonna stick the camera out right now and start just pointing it. Here we go. over 10 minutes to get up here and there was traffic we could have made it in under 10 minutes love you guys a lot happy belated easter again don't forget sign up for that three free night stay in moon ridge off of sheephorn you guys can't wait for you guys to win i love you guys very much and i'll talk to you soon later guys oh just real quick it's 73 in big bear there's no snow anywhere just a beautiful Baldwin Lake. Cheers, guys. April 10th, 2023. Peace out.